Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be setting up better auth with Next.js while using Prisma as our database ORM. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have a simple Next.js application where I've set Prisma. And if you do not know how to set up Prisma, there's a video in the description that you can watch that will teach you how to set up Prisma. So the first thing we're going to be doing to set up better auth is we're going to be installing it. So I'm going to use PNPM, but you can use any other um, package manager that you want. And so just install better auth and it's been installed. Now scroll down a little bit, click on this generate secret key. And this is going to generate a secret and copy it and paste the secret in your .env file. And my secret is not really a secret because you guys can see it, but make sure that it's secure. So when you paste the secret, scroll down a little bit, set a base URL of your application in the same .env file. Make sure that this base URL is the base URL of your application. Now scroll down again, create a lib folder in your source directory. Oh, you, well, I already have a lib folder, but if you don't create it in the source directory, and if you're not using the source directory, create it at the root of your file structure. And in this uh, lib folder, you're going to be creating a auth.ts file. And in this file, scroll down a little bit. We're not going to copy this because we're setting a Prisma. And scroll down to where it says Prisma. Don't click on Drizzle. Click on Prisma. And copy this command and paste it in the auth.ts file. And one thing you're going to notice is that it's using the Prisma client. But if you set up Prisma the right way, you don't have to set up a Prisma client. You can just, if you want to use Prisma, you can just import it from your database that we had set up previously. So just do that. And this is your auth. And as a provider, I'm going to be using Postgres. I'm using Postgres, but if you want to use something else, you can do that. Now scroll down a little bit. And the other thing you'll be doing is you're going to be generating a better auth schema. And we do that by running this command. And I'm using PNPM, so I'll run it via PNPM. PNPM DLX. And this is going to ask you if you want it to replace the file, so select Y. And now what it has done is it has replaced your Prisma um, schema with its own schema of user, session, account, and other stuff. And so the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to be migrating the schema to our database. And so I'm just going to paste this command. And you can copy this command from the description, so just paste it here, run it, and apply it to your database. Okay, so the database migration has been applied. And if you want to verify it, just go to your database and just click on the reload button, and you can see all of the schemas have been applied to your database. And in the next step, we're going to scroll down. We're just going to set the email and password to true. If you don't want to use email and password and you want to use a different form of authentication, you can do that. So enable true. Make sure you add the comma. Now scroll down a little bit. Now we're going to set up a mount handler. So click on Next.js. And I like to do a little trick here, which is to copy everything from API to the route and go to your app folder click on the little file button and just paste it here and you're going to have it and just paste this command here and now just create a auth client instance and we're going to be doing that in the same um, lib folder so create a auth client instance and paste this command here and yeah that's done and that's it, guys. That's how you set up Better Auth with Prisma and Next.js. And if you want to learn how to use Better Auth, I've created a separate video for that that I'm going to link in the description. And this is all for this video. If you enjoy watching this video, click the like button, subscribe if you want to, and have a nice day.